Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video we're going to be learning about global variables and module scripts. I know it doesn't say we're learning about global variables in the title, but it's pretty similar to module scripts, so I decided I'll include it in this video. Let's get right into it. So, um, we have a variable here. This is just a normal variable, uh, like any other variable, and we want to print it out from this script. So we'll do print, um, game dot service script service dot script dot variable because that's what we called the variable so if we print it it says variable is not a valid member of script so um what does this mean variable is not a valid member of script well right here it's searching for a property or it's searching for a property or a child of script and there aren't any properties or children of the script that have a name of variable so um how do we make a global variable it's really easy all we need to do is we need to do underscore g not underscore f underscore g dot variable equals hello world and Let's run this. Oh, I forgot. We have to also do it here. Underscore G dot variable. So if we run it now, it should work. Um, nil. Did I do a typo? I don't know what on earth was wrong. Um, but now it's working. That was really weird. Weird. So as you can see, it's printing it here. It's calling this variable. Now it's defined here as hello world, and that is what it's printing. Also, I am starting to record in a higher quality, meaning that uh, you'll get higher quality videos. Although it will take a longer time to export, I will try to make the videos the highest quality possible. So let's get into module scripts. So, um, we have a function here. And we need to use this in multiple scripts. Ha uh, we can, like, one of the solutions that you would think of immediately is copy this, this code and put it at the top of every single script that you need to have it in. But no, that is the wrong way of doing it. We can utilize module scripts. So we're just going to cut this and let's create a module script. Now, what does this mean? So, this uh, is a table, and it's returning a table. You should know about um, about uh, returning, uh, if you see my beginner scripting series. So, we'll just make a function. Now, uh, we'll do local module script equals game dot service script service dot module script. Now, we'll do module script dot uh, module script dot um print text um hello world hello world and um now it says print text is not a valid member of module script again yep it's searching for a child how do we actually do this put these in brackets and add a require that is how to do it now it should work, you think. Um, but no, it attempted to call a nil value. And what this means is, like, this is not in this the module script. It's a local function. How do we make this a function that will be uh, uh, in there when it's, like, called? We can do module dot. And yeah, it's as simple as that. And as you can see, it will print hello world if I got the code correct. Yep, it prints hello world. So that's how to use module scripts. But there are more things we can use with module scripts. Like we can make a variable module dot uh, my variable equals hello world. We can even use this as the text. Uh, we can just do that, and as you can see, it will still print hello world, except I accidentally didn't do the capitalization here. Well, yeah, that's how to use module scripts. I hope you found this helpful. 
leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.